everybody, it's Hawken with Top Don. Today we're going to do a video showing you how to use the new CarPal. Now, if you're not familiar with this particular tool, uh, we're going to walk you through just a few of the key features today and show you how to get it connected to your car. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's take you through a feature on the CarPal app that is really innovative and super nice uh, just for some quick information. So if we go down here on the bottom left, there is the battery test. We're going to tap on that. And you can see it gives you us a real-time voltage here. And we're going to hit start testing. Now it's going to tell us to turn off all the systems on the car. So we're going to turn off every system that we can preemptively here. We're going to confirm. We're going to hit next. And now we're going to hit confirm and start the vehicle. So we want to make sure our foot is on the brake and we are ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and hit confirm and we're going to start the vehicle. And you'll see our results. We're going to hit yes, it did start. And we have a cranking test just like you would see on actually a lab scope with an amp clamp, except we're just looking at voltage. So if we scroll down here, here's the lowest point of the voltage right here. Uh, 11 and a half is really pretty good. Even if we look at the graph, it looks like it went a little lower than that, but still well within the range of pretty healthy. And so a quick little report that we can easily make here uh, when doing battery testing. So really just a super nice, convenient, quick test you can do with the CarPal app. So now we're going to show you another feature that we can do uh, with the CarPal app specifically. And this is a pretty awesome feature. Uh, we can do a full vehicle health check. So you're going to select whatever software that you have uh, subscribed to. You get a couple of choices based on how many VINs you're going to assign. So basically, you can choose a set number of vehicles. And then after you've made those choices for brands of vehicles, it'll let you download the software. And then we're going to do an auto scan. And the auto scan is going to take us through here on the app. And it's going to check all the systems on the vehicle for fault codes and overall system status. So a pretty neat feature. And you know, how, fa uh, how fast it does this is going to be variable, mostly dependent on the bus network speed of the vehicle and your internet connection stability. So we're going to go ahead and uh, walk you through this here. It'll take just a little bit of time. All right, so you can see here we've got the app up, and we did a full scan on the vehicle. And we're using an iPad here instead of a phone, so you can see it just a little bit better. But it went through all the vehicle systems on this 2023 Volkswagen, and we did not get any fault codes. And so now we have the option to make a report. Uh, we can scan again. If we had any faults, we could clear the DTCs, but we do not. So we're just going to go ahead and hit report. And then we can put in some additional details, engine, submodel, all that kind of stuff, and then hit confirm. And then you can see here, here's our full vehicle health report with no fault codes. We can save it. And then if we would like to email it, we can email it here to ourselves. And once we do that, Boom, there we go. So now we've sent the report to ourselves. Uh, of course, we could send it to whoever we want. And that is a simple, quick way that you can create a pre-scan with your CarPal app. And of course, see the overall system health of the vehicle very quickly in one convenient shot like we have here. So that's just a couple of great features you have in the CarPal app. We're going to go back out to the main screen here. We're going to show you there's also a few other things you can look at. We'll move our little bubbles out of the way here. We have a few other things we can look at. So if we look in the app here, we can look at some live data. We can do an ignition or a IM readiness check, if you will. So this is basically emissions monitoring for the vehicle's ECM. So you can see here it's going to go ahead and run a check on that. No trouble codes. 
and it says it's in a good state of health, so just a quick check there. So in the CarPal app, we have access to a couple other things that are pretty cool. We go down to the very bottom here, there is the service section. And in the service section, we actually have some other really helpful links. So if you're having trouble figuring out where the data link connector is to plug in your CarPal, you can try the data link connector location. You can get access to a number of technical service bulletins from the internet, uh, from various places that may apply to your vehicle and help you figure out what's going on. You have a DTC repair guide, which can assist you in finding if you have a specific fault code, what may be some common problems with that fault code. And you can filter that by vehicle brand, which is pretty straightforward. And then we also have a warning light library, which can help you identify what the fault, uh, the lights on your dash mean. So if you see a light on your dash and you're not quite familiar with what it means, you can jump in here in the warning light library and get a good idea of what it means. So we can tap on EPC if we're not sure what this means, and it'll give you a nice little description. And it, will, and it will give you some possible causes or explanations for why that light might come on. Of course, always the best policy if you do get warning lights on the dash, it's always the best policy to take this vehicle in for service to your local shop if you're not sure uh, the severity of the fault that's causing those lights.